It is often implied, through our everyday interactions in popular media, that being emotionally strong is a state in which a person is stoic, sparse with their emotional expression, and dedicated to maintaining a tough and collective facade. Is that really emotional strength? Many psychologists would argue that emotional strength is related to healthy emotional expression, without the fear of social judgment. So, can a person achieve, practice, and maintain the art of emotional strength? Hey everybody, welcome to the Psychology Element. Today, we will be exploring what it means to be emotionally strong and the ways you can achieve or boost your emotional strength. Make sure to watch until the end of the video because you may be able to recognize your inner emotional potential to build strength and resilience. Now, let's get into the video. Psychologists have been tirelessly trying to decode the secrets of the self-explanatory, yet elusive concept of emotional strength. They started with our common understanding of what this concept means and then started to slowly peel away the layers of this phenomenon to uncover its essence and the basic mechanisms by which it can be achieved, practiced, and maintained. In their paper on this subject, Emotional Strength, a Response Type, Response Disposition, and Organizing Principle for Emotion Experience, authors Sharon Fay and Joel Hooper defined emotional strength as the ability to respond in an open and vulnerable way in the face of intense emotional experience feeling one's way deeper into the emotion which allows access to implicit functional processes driving action. According to these authors, there are four hallmarks of emotional strength. 1. Openness and vulnerability. 2. Emotional responsiveness. 3. Self-description using vulnerability-related words. And 4. Continuing engagement and action. These authors put forward that it is not the point of emotional strength to turn a negative into a positive experience but rather that this skill refers to the ability to feel deeply into all emotional experiences, opening up vulnerability and emotional experiences and to change the way emotion is understood in everyday life. Psychologist Guy Winch, in his article for Psychology Today, lists seven characteristics of emotionally strong people. 1. Emotionally strong people are less discouraged by setbacks and disappointments. 2. Emotionally strong people are more adaptable to change. 3. Emotionally strong people are able to recognize and express their needs. 4. Emotionally strong people focus on getting around a hurdle rather than on the hurdle itself. 5. Emotionally strong people can learn from mistakes and criticism. 6. Emotionally strong people tend to see the larger perspective in a challenging situation. 7. Emotionally strong people are able to recover more quickly from emotional wounds, such as failure and rejection. In essence, emotionally strong people are able to manage the stresses of everyday life more effectively, as well as recover more quickly from challenges and crises when they arise. Now, we are going to be listing the ways that can help you manage this task and become an emotionally stronger person. Number 1. Get through a complete physical examination. This is very important to be able to establish whether your lack of perception to lack of emotional strength, that is, your diminished capacity for coping with everyday obstacles can be traced back to some kind of medical condition. If this turns out to be the case, you can work on resolving the physical issue first, and then continue to work on your emotional well-being. Number 2. Practice the art of clearly recognizing, labeling, and expressing your emotions and needs. The importance of being able to first recognize your emotional needs, name them, and then express them is extremely important. Two of the hallmarks of an emotionally strong person are their assertiveness and self-awareness as to what is causing them emotional distress, even while that emotional distress is occurring. By better understanding your needs, you will be able to cope with the frustration of them not always being met, which will further help you build emotional strength. Number 3. Establish what your emotional weaknesses are. This may sound like a cliché, but it is impossible to develop emotional strength without first clearly recognizing and acknowledging what and where your emotional weaknesses are. Someone's emotional strength is directly proportional to their ability to admit that they are emotionally unwell that they have trouble coping and trying to become aware and accept that this can happen to anyone. Life's challenges can diminish our emotional strength and adaptive ways of coping with these challenges, but luckily, there are ways to bounce back even emotionally stronger than before. Number four, engage in honest introspection and self-reflection. Introspection is the act of engaging and thinking about your own emotions, thoughts, and feelings in an honest way. This practice is very important for building your emotional strength because it may provide you with insight into your inner scripts that represent the way you were programmed to think and feel since you were a child to the present moment about yourself and the world around you. It is crucial that you become aware of your dysfunctional scripts that might be blocking your potential to be an emotionally strong person. Number 5. Clearly understand your current position. Try to engage in realistic assessments of your current situation regarding your emotional resources. 
It is critical to take stock of all the things within you and outside of you that might decrease your levels of emotional strength. Number six, always formulate your emotional problems clearly. This will help you in two ways. One, you will become more aware of your inner dialogue, which will give you enough confidence and courage to openly air your problems so that you could resolve them. And two, you will be able to develop effective coping strategies for dealing with problems, which will strengthen your emotional life. Enjoying the video so far? Then don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more insightful psychology videos like this one. You will only get smarter, and it's free. Number seven, don't resort to forced stoicism. Suppressing your emotional problems in order to appear emotionally strong will, paradoxically, make you less emotionally capable of dealing with life's obstacles and rob you of the opportunity to build actual emotional strength and resilience. Number eight, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is an incredibly effective tool of boosting your resilience and helping you to ruminate about your past less and concentrate on building your emotional strength that will help you get through difficult times in the present and in the future more. Number nine, work on building your emotional resilience. This strategy refers to practicing your abilities to effectively cope with everyday stress and create basis and emotional resources that could aid you in future problem solving without feeling excessive stress. Once your emotional resilience improves, so will your inner sense of your own emotional strength. Number 10, practice relaxation techniques. Practicing different relaxation techniques daily, such as deep breathing and progressive muscle relaxation will provide you with relief from muscle tension accumulated through the effects of stress. When you are in a relaxed state, you will feel energized, psychologically capable to resolve problems, which will in turn increase your own sense of emotional strength, even in the face of the greatest challenges. Number 11, Surround yourself with people who love you and care about you. This will give you the emotional bandwidth to face problematic situations head on, knowing that you have a social support network consisting of people who are actually interested in you. In turn, this will increase your confidence and lead to engaging in further problem-solving behaviors that will help you to constantly improve your emotional strength. Number 12. Don't hesitate to ask for help if you need it. As we've already established before, emotional strength doesn't imply that you are invincible. Everyone can get overwhelmed by problems and difficult situations, so by asking family, close friends, or a mental health practitioner to help you with your current problems and issues that are blocking your way to fully realizing your emotional as well as every other potential, you shouldn't hesitate to do so. By slightly unburdening yourself in this way, you will be able to feel your emotional strength growing. Number 13. Remember that emotional strength can't be built overnight. Building and improving your emotional strength will be a process. You will have to be persistent in practicing the aforementioned techniques for a period of time to see noticeable changes in your emotional life and in your emotional strength. It is not a good idea to rush this process since you will not be able to achieve this admittedly challenging task at once. So, a little patience for a gradual increase in your mental strength and resilience will go a long way to achieving your goal. So, this was our list of ways you can achieve and improve your emotional strength. Like the video? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to check out our confidence and self-esteem playlist for more videos like this. And thanks for watching.